Did you know that this farming method literally lets you get 5 million belly per hour? These are 10 of the craziest money-making methods in all of Blocks Fruits. Okay, so first of all, we got sea beast hunting. And for this, what you want to do is you just want to take a ship, preferably one with a lot of health, and drive it somewhere into the middle of the ocean, far away from islands. Now, you just have to AFK for a bit and wait for the sea beast to spawn. And once that happens, you want to use every single ability, combat style, sword, and gun equipped. And this is because you want to do the maximum amount of damage the sea beast in the short amount of time as possible and once you finished off the sea beast you should get around 1.5 million belly per sea beast and if you keep hunting down more and more sea beasts they should give you more and more money and if you get four sea beasts that's literally enough to buy a leopard fruit so the next way to farm money is bounty hunting so all you have to do is find a wanted poster of somebody that you want to hunt and you just click on the poster then you probably want to have some pvp based fruits probably like the awakened doe fruit or the leopard fruit then you want to find the player that you're hunting and just simply kill them. But remember, this depends on how huge that player's bounty was. And the max bounties that pirates can have in the game is 30 million. So that is a lot of money. Okay, so next up we have raids. Raids are how you awaken your fruits, but you also get a huge amount of money on the side. And the best thing about raids is that you can trade in like the worst fruits in the games to start one, or you can buy them every two hours. Overall, depending on how difficult your raid is, it gives you a different amount of money. So it's best to choose one that's more for your skill level. When doing a raid, you should always be using the butter fruit. It makes raids extremely easy to complete compared to other fruits. As long as you have bad fruits to trade in, the money potential is endless. This trick's really simple to use. I'm obviously talking about codes. All you have to do is simply search up a website of block fruits codes and just enter every single one that you find. Since most of these codes are double XP, you just have to farm, which gives you tougher opponents, which gives you more money. So this next trick is AFK farming. So the way you do this is you simply stand on the spawn point of the enemy and you just stand still equip the sword or a combat style and just leave an auto clicker on and since you're on the spawn point of the enemy when they respawn they directly start trying to hit you but they can't hit you but you can hit them so if you leave this on overnight you should get a huge amount of money when you wake up this next way is more for new players that don't have the advanced fighting style or combat style required for the other methods what you do is you just simply walk around the map and collect every single chest that you see and as soon as you're done farming all the chests you can just simply server hop and repeat it a place i do recommend for this is upper skylands so if you break into the pyramid using this entrance there's a good amount of chests here that give you approximately 7,000 belly but keep in mind that this is better for only new players to use and if you're a more experienced player you should consider following the other tricks so this next trick is one that i'm pretty sure most of you already familiar with i'm talking about server hopping bosses you know when you're on that one quest and you just have to keep waiting for the boss to respawn all you have to do is simply server hop. So the way this works is you just click the servers button on the top left and you choose any server that isn't the one that you're in. And once you load into that server, the boss you're looking for should still be there. And this is the best way to maximize the money output from the quest that you do. Since obviously the boss quest gives you more than the other quests. So this next trick is for people that have a bit of spare robux and you don't know what to spend it on. If you want to maximize your money output, obviously the game pass that you want to buy is double money. It pretty much does what it says. It literally gives you double the money you earn from anything that you do. If you get a lot of money, you can spend that money on weapons and combat styles, which in turn helps you get even more money, and it's just a never-ending cycle of money. This next one is one that's gonna help you a lot when it comes to grinding money. So what you're gonna have to do is buy a private server. I know what you're thinking, most of you don't have the Robux to spend on that, but I have a really simple solution for you guys. So if you go onto YouTube and just search up Roblox Blocks Fruits Private Server, you should find a bunch of videos that just have private server links. And basically, when you go into these servers there should be way less people than there are in a normal server and what this helps you with is that you can do your own quest peace free without anybody else doing the same quest as you and this one is one that i'm pretty sure all of you watching are already familiar with i'm talking about buddha farming the buddha farming method is probably the most generic and one of the best ways to make money in this game all you have to do is somehow get your hands on the buddha fruit you don't need to upgrade it the only thing that you're using the buddha for is its transformation and the reason for this is it lets you hit enemies from a really far distance and this makes it so the enemies can't hit you but you can hit them and this would give you a lot of money it also lets you level up a lot faster which in turn gives you more money 